Yeah, so is your hand too heavy to put inside washing machine, ba? Do you think it's easy to bend down to operate the machine? Ah, sorry, yo. So it's not enough that I work at the call center and run back in. I should not come home and be your cleaner as well, Abby. What's up, guys? My name is Dr. Shala Fabson, and I am an actress. Um, my character in Sugar, obviously I play Sophie, so fine, so fly. Um, me and so Dorcas and Sophie are two very different people. However, they're similar because they're both bubbly, they like to have fun. However, Dorcas works hard for her money, Sophie does the opposite. Although this season she is working and so I think Dorcas and Sophie are kind of more similar in season four, but in season three they're very opposite. But season four, because Sophie's working, she's on job, she's... You know, she's, she's a boss, so I think we're kind of similar, more similar this season, as opposed to last season. I love that Sophie is free, she's a bubbly girl, she has no filter, I love that. That's, that's, I think that's the most similar thing between Dorcas and Sophie. Like. My, my, when I'm ready, my mouth has zero filter, so I think that's why I, I, I relate to Sophie so much. I hate, hate, hate the fact that she was selling herself short because um, I think a lot of girls do sell themselves short, you know. In the first season, well, season three, the last season, Sophie was sleeping with everybody's dad, uncle, cousin, brother, anybody with money for... For, she was just opening and giving them for, for money and I just, I, I hated that about her because I think there's, women need to value themselves, respect themselves and work hard for their own money. I don't believe in transactional sex or any of that kind of thing. So I hate that about Sophie. But I love the fact that she's a fun, bubbly person and like I said, she has zero filter. You mean I might have it? We won't know until you test now. I understand how you feel completely. But if he's actually HIV positive, it's actually really good that he wants to protect you by using a condom. Definitely. Sugar's definitely made me more precautious, made me more careful, made me think about a lot of things before I do them. Because, and it's also educated me so much about HIV. I mean, I knew what HIV was before, but I didn't know half as much as I know now. So I didn't, I didn't know a lot of things and it's just opened my eyes to so much more about HIV, how it's contracted, how it's treated, how it's not a death sentence that it used to be, you know, people used to think, oh, I've got HIV, I'm going to die, blah, blah, blah. It's not, like, people are living happy, successful lives with HIV and they're living positively, they just need to take their medication on time. And I think that's that not only has it educated me, it's educated the whole cast, everybody watching it, it's, it's taught people stuff that I don't think they knew before and it's definitely been a great experience working on Sugar and not just about HIV, it's, it's taught me about domestic violence, about peer pressure, about a, a load of things like not just about HIV, obviously HIV is the main topic but I mean it's, it's got a lot of different avenues and different branches that it breaks off to and it's educating people at the same time as entertaining them so it's great. My favorite scene from Sugar that I've been in was definitely Slapping Princess. I don't know if you guys remember, but I walked in one day and Princess was going through Sophie's stuff and said, Sophie gave her one dirty slap. Ah, that slap was very sweet. And it was funny because she never had spent any, so like she didn't think it was going to end that, but her reaction was so real. And as soon as they yelled cut, I could not stop laughing. Everybody was laughing in the room because her reaction was so real and it pained her so much. It was, it was hilarious hilarious and obviously she couldn't she couldn't react i'm sure in her head she wanted to slap me back but she couldn't because it wasn't part of the script but that was like the best scene it was mean but it was fun um in my books i was studying i was at uni so i graduated in 2000 hey no 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 oh, jesus when did i graduate I graduated when I was 21, I'm 25 now. It was my birthday yesterday. That is so off topic. But, um, okay, so before Sugar, I was at uni, I studied criminology. So I was at uni for three years. I graduated when I was 21. And I, was, I wasn't acting, I was focusing on my criminology degree. And I said, well, once I'd done that, then I would pursue acting, which I did. So um, once I did that, I auditioned for an agent. 
and I was successful and then I got sugar. I did a few little short films and some things in theatre before sugar as well. So that was in the UK and then I got sugar and came to Nigeria and did sugar and yeah. Um, working on the set of Sugar was really fun because everybody is like a family. Everyone's really cool. We all chill off set and on set and everyone's just humble. Like we're all there to work and at the same time have fun. So we all like go over our lines together or we'll go out for a drink together. Like we're all just like literally like a family. And that's with the old cast and the new cast. Like the new cast have gelled in so well with the old cast. And it's been amazing like meeting new people and just getting to know them and chilling with them. Like even like certain things like I won't be able to say in Pigeon, I will say, oh, Timony, you said this for me, like, and I will repeat it. So we help each other learn, we help each other grow, you know? So it was really fun, like, really, really fun. Toby, that's my G. That's my fatty. That's my, that's my brother. Like, if I would say, like, I'm grateful to working on Sugar, but I'm also grateful for the people that I met on Sugar because I met some really genuinely nice, people like really Jen Timony aka Toby is one of them like he's literally like my brother and um yeah I love all the cast though there's no favoritism but that's like my my G my my home slice I love theatre and film but I think I prefer theatre because you get real reactions and it's just live and you can hear it if people find something funny or they hate like you just get real live reactions so it's more of an interaction thing I like seeing people's reaction live but film is just like okay you made a mistake do it again but theatre you can you, once you've done it it's out like it's just boom bang bang you have to be on point on the ball and it's just I get, I don't know, I get excited when people react live, just to see people's reactions live, so I think I prefer theatre, but I still love film, I love TV film, I love it, but I prefer theatre. In Nigeria, hmm, there's a few, I can't say one, like there's a few people that have impacted me as an actor, obviously you have the Genevieve's, Rita Dominic's, all those legendary people so obviously growing up and watching them I'm like oh 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 like in my head they're my aunties but you know <laughs> they definitely inspired me as an actor but worldwide I would say people like um Idris Elba definitely um Denzel Gabrielle Union Kerry Washington all those people inspire me and I take different things from each of them so yeah, they definitely inspire me a lot. The first time I came to Nigeria, I was 13. And I came because I was bad. <laughs> I came for a holiday, a two week holiday. And I ended up staying here for nine months because I was naughty in school and I got kicked out. So <laughs> that was my first experience in Nigeria. And then I didn't come again. I've actually been, before Sugar, I'd been to Nigeria twice. So the first time I came when I was 14, 13, and I stayed for like nine months and I went back and to London. And then I didn't come again until I was about 19 for my grandmother's funeral. And I was here for two weeks and then I went back and then I came back for Sugar. So Sugar was the third time I'd been to Nigeria. Within like the last two years, I've probably been to Nigeria like hundred times like I love Nigeria so much now when I was younger I hated it <laughs> but I love it like I literally love it like I would definitely come and do productions here if they make sense like I don't want to just do any and everything just to be oh she's in this she's in that she's doing this she's doing no I want to do stuff that makes sense and that's right for me so um, I'm just kind of waiting on the right scripts like I'm, I'm someone that's not afraid to turn down scripts I don't believe in doing any and everything that's brought to you because not any and everything is right for you. So I don't believe in that at all. So I always try and wait out. I play the waiting game. Like I'm not in any rush to make it. I'm not in any rush to be blah, 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 blah. What's for me will surely be for me. And if it's right, it's right. If it's not, it's not. So 
yeah i would definitely i'm not ruling out nollywood or anything but i'm just saying i would wait wait for the right script and the right director the right cast the right you know i just don't want to be in every and anything just to have my name there At the moment, I'm working in London on my own personal project. I'm writing a play, it's called Decisions, which will, God willing, be going into production Easter in the UK. And hopefully, if it does well there, then we'll bring it over here and worldwide. Hopefully, God willing. Yes, I um, did criminology at uni, so that's, if I, if I wasn't acting as well, I would literally focus on criminology and criminal law etc so at the moment I do use it I work in the UK I work with young offenders so people that have been in the justice system and have come out um, I help with re rehabilitating them so getting them into work or extracurricular activities or helping them fix up their CV or getting them into education just trying to get them off the streets and um, trying to help them live a better life, a better positive life. So yeah, um, I'm working on something new actually at the moment where I'll be teaching young people, just giving them like um, acting classes on the side. So like once a week or once a month, we haven't worked out how long we're going to do it for, but we're working on that. So I'm going to start doing classes with them.